Okay, so does that answer your question? <laughs> sure. Okay, you go ahead and then. This kind of segues in. So you've spoken a lot about the benefits of high LDL. So on a personal basis, how would you get to that point? Would you just have low carb? Would you go full keto? Would you go carnivore? Where's in that wide spectrum of carb? Carbs, where would you personally put your patients? So that's an excellent question, and I don't think that I have a straightforward answer. Exactly. So uh, <laughs> let me explain that. Now, not everybody who goes on a low-carb diet will get high LDL. Okay. Not everybody who goes on a low-carb diet will get high LDL. The reason for that, I think, is that we have different levels of what is called PCSK9. So PCSK9 is a molecule that's made by the liver, and it goes and tells the liver to shut down the receptor that picks up the LDL from the circulation. So if you have high levels of PCSK9, then the receptor is taken away, and you will have high levels of LDL. On the other hand, genetically, genetic people who are born with low levels of PCSK9 will have higher levels of LDL. So let's say you are a lean mass hyperresponder and your PCSK9 levels are relatively low. So when the PCSK9 levels are relatively low, your liver is expressing a lot of LDL receptor. The liver is making the receptor that says, I want to suck up all the LDL you have in circulation. So you go on a low carb diet, but your LDL level doesn't climb. Okay, you know, it's, you have to think about it from, write it down on a piece of paper so that you can understand. High levels of LDL goes and tells the liver, take away the receptor that is sucking up the LDL from circulation. So LDL levels are high. Some of these people are called familial high cholesterol. They will have high cholesterol regardless. On the other hand, people with low levels of PCSK9, the receptor in the liver remains where it is and it is sucking up the LDL. So even though you are on a low carb diet, you're exercising, you're fasting, your LDL levels don't go up. Okay, so that's one aspect. Now, if you are a low carber, and let's take the perfect low carber, somebody who exercises, but optimal exercise, not over exercising, sleeps well, eats very little processed food, no vegetable oils, eats mostly meat and above ground vegetables. So if I look at them, their insulin levels will be very low. So if you go to the laboratory and you say, okay, what is the lower limit of perfectly cal cal calculating an insulin level on those machines? It's two. Two international units per ml or micro, micro ml. So if it's less than two, let's say you are 1.8, okay? Your HDL is high, your triglycerides are low, your LDL is high. Is that the best and perfect situation? Should I say, hey, you're doing perfect, you don't need to change anything, just go about and have fun? Is that what I should tell them? So you're saying no. I'm, I would say I don't know the answer. The reason I don't know the answer is because periodic spiking of your insulin levels, because insulin is always considered to be a bad player. But could it be a good player? Because insulin does several good things also. Number one, does it imp help improve your muscle mass? Does insulin help improve your muscle mass? The answer to that question is yes. It activates mTOR, which makes you build protein. It improves muscle mass. Does it improve connections between brain cells? Is our brain have a lot of insulin receptors? Yes, yes, it does. So people who are metabolically healthy, should they try to spike their insulin a little bit? Eat a small amount of honey, go get some fruits, eat a small amount of brown rice periodically. 
Now, when you do that, your LDL levels will drop a little bit. Is that a good or a bad thing? So I don't know the answer to that. So I generally say if you get very metabolically healthy and you're happy the way you look, you're not overweight, and you are somebody who, after cheating a little bit, will not go on to binge cheating, <laughs> that you should try it. On the other hand, if you know yourself that if you cheat a little bit, it'll just lead to you cheating indefinitely, then I should say, no, don't try it. Just remain where you are. 